all right what's up y'all it's 202 Inc. your favorite help desk tech go ahead and subscribe to the channel check out the help desk playlist a lot of y'all don't know i have the help desk playlist but let's get straight into it it's another day in the life of an it tech and uh it's 9 35 and if you've been keeping up with my vlogs you know it's been dry this week it's been super dry since that microsoft crowd strike but only think it's a crowd strike it's y'all like mid-summer at this point either way I've been here since 7, it's 9.30, I ain't have no tickets, I just got a ticket that I'm about to create. Um, we had a user come down, he's trying to do things virtually, but you need a certain authenticate authentication code, his wasn't working right, so he deleted it, bad choice. So with him deleting it, I can't just like reset his profile to get him a new code, I have to go to networking, which I did. I sent the email to network and I told him I'd let him know when it comes down or whatever. I mean, I'll let him know when he responds and what's the next steps. Then, uh, he went to my supervisor just to speak to her and stuff like that. And then I guess he ended up telling her that he needed a phone too, but I guess he didn't know who to go to because those roles changed. I told y'all I deal with phones and mobile devices now. With that being said, we got an SE here. <clears throat> we got a case. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to activate it. I'm going to write down all the information. And then I'm going to also put the information in the, the information in the ticket. Information being the phone number, this, uh, I'm about to say the social security number. Uh -huh. The phone number, the serial number, and the IEMI number. Put it in the case. And make sure I don't leave no fingerprints. So, with that being said, I'm about to get right to it. And this will be my first ticket of the day. I'm going to keep y'all updated and posted. With that being said, I'm going to just show you how I fill out the ticket. So, you go to tickets, you go to create a new ticket, and it already has the opening date and whether it's an incident or a request. This is more so a request. Now that I think about it for the phone, because I just put in for the code thing. So, I'm making two separate tickets so no one can be confused. So, for this, I'm going to put... For the category, we have so many categories. Sometimes I just type certain things to see if it pops up, like sale. Nothing popped up for sale, but if I put phone, we have like help desk request by phone, phone request, mobile device request. Boom. After that, we got the requester. You can search their name. Found his name. We have a watcher. Well, you have, we have a watcher category, but we don't usually put watchers. And then we have a sign too, which is my name already there. Status, new, urgency, medium, impact, medium, priority, medium. Total time duration, you don't really have to do that. The, the status, urgency, impact, prior, total duration, you don't have to really fill nothing out. Request source help desk, approval request, location, you don't really have to do that. But then you go to the title. And then I'll put cell phone as the title and then the description. I just put in requesting a cell phone for work use for the description. And then for the tiers, we have different tiers. So, but for different things, like we had the outages like last time. So that, and then program, and then tier three is an individual request. And then acknowledge date. This is new. The tier level and the initial acknowledge date is new. And then you have an initial response date. And you don't really have to do that, but date, cell phone issues, new new user requests. Okay, so I don't got to do that. And then I just add that. And then I have a choice to, then I have to fill out this paper, which has the username, the phone, the job title, the email address, the vendor. Everything about the phone, the account, the cell phone type, IEMI, the SIM, if it's an eSIM, you put eSIM, all of that, and then you get them to sign it. And if you, they need help setting up like an Apple device, I mean, not an Apple device, but like an uh, a Apple ID or whatever, then yeah. And this gentleman basically going to fill out the uh, phone number. Everything I put on that paper, I'm going to put in this ticket. And yeah. And that's how that works. I might even add one of my coworkers on this ticket who does like other types of cell phone stuff so she can have the information. So I might do that. But yeah, y'all just giving y'all an update and letting y'all know how it go. And I actually got two hours to do this because I think he might have to leave early. So I was like, I can have this done for you in like two hours or really less. Ooh, 
satisfaction videos y'all i loved i've always one thing about apple i've always loved to like take their stuff off like this that's so satisfying like that's so satisfying okay so we got that i won't even take the plastic off until i'm about to put it in the case so we're gonna actually turn it on so just another update i just helped a user well actually he had his co-worker come up hold on this might be so like i was saying it's lunchtime um i actually walked to the carry out because it's across the street and i know a couple of cuts so i took the cuts and uh i actually was treated to lunch i'm always treated to lunch like nine times or eight times out of ten i'm usually treated to lunch all right, so we got this shrimp and broccoli with the fried rice. Give y'all a better look at that for a couple seconds. So I go with the shrimp and broccoli, one, because it's safe. And, like, you know how you be hearing stuff about, like, the Chinese people using, like, fake meat, fake beef, fake pork, whatever, fake rice, this and that. Well, at least I don't think you can have fake shrimp. You know what I'm saying? Y'all saw that spit? <laughs> Excuse me. But fake, uh, you can't really mess up shrimp. You know what I'm saying? You can't really get fake shrimp. Baked fish yet, but baked shrimp, I ain't never heard of that. Plus with the fried rice and the broccoli, so it's like I can't be messed up too much. So I just called the user back, and it's fixed now. And sometimes that happens. That's why I try to tell you, if you're having a weird error that you never usually get, try turning it on and off and logging in again. I do, I do that with people all the time. So. Easy open and close of a ticket. <clears throat> And did my phone die? Yeah, all these phones, they be bound to die. Uh, so now it's what, 2.53, basically three o'clock, and I got one last task, which is, see this iPad right here? The user says it's not charged yet, it's 3.13, and that was not my last task. My actual last task is taking these two monitors to a user's office but yeah her ipad definitely isn't charged enough but as soon as i said that it, it started coming on it's definitely a short in there somewhere though but uh i guess we'll see when i come back it's at one percent we gotta get charged Ooh, all right y'all <sighs> like either way my day is done it's 3 38 so i'm off eight minutes ago but I just didn't want to like end the video without saying nothing so i did install those uh those monitors i'm gonna get this video out video uh -huh. i'm gonna get this video out today because i gotta go to the studio as well so i'll probably be editing while i'm at the studio or y'all might y'all probably get this while i'm at the studio or before i go to the studio but yeah i think i'm gonna turn it up but yeah, I just wanted to end the video, y'all. Um, thank y'all for watching. Like I said, check out the Help Desk playlist. Almost knocked my nose ring out. How this joint looking sweet? This joint do look sweet though, y'all, don't it? She put that joint in the perfect place. Now I gotta finish on my arm. I probably I'm gonna finish on my arm, so. I probably do like a half a sleeve. Or at least not even half a quarter sleeve. I probably do a quarter sleeve and then uh, keep it going or whatever. But, um, yeah, y'all, that's the end of this video for real, for real. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, uh, if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'm gone. Dana Life of an IT Help Desk Tech. Real life. Real life.